watch the journey of Mrs. India 2019 winner. Grab eyeballs like, oh really, I mean, yes. that is amazing. And uh, what are her tips? Killing your enemy in style. <laughs> oh my I, god. Yeah, that is what Mrs. India is. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. I'm Dupali Fadnis. Welcome on Mrs. India. Today with me we have a very beautiful winner of Mrs. India 2019 and 20, Priyanka Abhishek. Welcome Priyanka. Thank you ma'am. Namaste. Hi everyone. Namaskara. <laughs> so how do you feel uh, being a winner? I mean it has been, I know it, it has been a quite a long journey from state to national and then all the tasks in between. So after all this journey, how it feels to be the winner of Mrs. India? Oh, it feels like the happiness is immeasurable. Mm -hmm. I always dreamt of being in pageants and wearing the crown and mm -hmm. now that I have achieved it, mm -hmm. so it's like I have, uh, I'm 100% happy. I can say like the, the battery is fully charged. <laughs> <laughs> so battery charged for one year? Yes. No, no, all my life. All your life. Yes, of course, you know. Mrs. India, once you are a queen, the reign of Mrs. India never gets over, you know. Though, of course, you know, the, the crown keeps changing, you know, because it has to be the, 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 the saga, you know, the glory of queen has to keep continuing, you know, the year after year. But of course, the reign of Mrs. India never gets over. That is that is that is for sure. So, did you ever thought, you know, um, before crowning, that it's not only about donating the crown, there's lots of responsibility. And by this time, I think in one month of time, with my day to day calls and the activities that you are being supposed to do, and the sponsor visits and brand promotions and all that, did you ever thought that it is going to be? <laughs> it's going to be, uh, I'm, I mean, that is my assumption that you know, you, you just thought that it's going to be a crown. You ever thought that you had to work so much? Uh, I, I only dreamt uh, of wearing the crown. <laughs> Responsibility, I never give it a thought. Now that uh, I've become Mrs. India and the responsibility that comes with it mm -hmm. is um, something that I never thought of it. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's nice to be responsible and yes. uh, the feeling is totally uh, different mm -hmm. in the, the sponsor visits and yes. I'm the face of Mrs. India now. The responsibility is, is uh, really increased. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward. Yes, to she's so because you said you're already charged, you know, and uh, of course I mean uh, you know uh, and that, that's all about being a queen, you know. Once you are a queen, it's it's not only about wearing the crown, you know. The queen is the people's queen, you know. You have to you have to do, do something for the people, you know. It, it's all about doing good for the society, and uh, we have this wonderful cause of uh, textile pollution awareness. Mm -hmm which we are seriously working on and uh, of course for one year you are going to bring awareness about it. Definitely the dress right now I'm wearing mm -hmm. is almost uh, 11 years old. Oh <laughs> my god and I would like to tell myself the dress that I'm wearing I seriously don't remember when did I buy it. Oh. It was just there <laughs> and uh, when, I started, when I started thinking of doing this wardrobe detoxification this was the dress that came out and trust me, the purple is my favorite color. Yeah. <laughs> the, everything that I buy is purple. Yeah. And yes. And yes is also a purple. <laughs> and every line. Yes. My favorite color is also purple. purple. <laughs> so you know that's the connect. And purple is something the dresses that I keep wearing again and again and again. And this dress I was not wearing because it was somewhere, you know, it was somewhere inside my wardrobe yeah. that I, I did not notice. So that is what the, the water detoxification we are going to do and we are going to start with the uh, Mrs. India 2019 winner. So I think all of you should wait what's there in her water. <laughs> I'm nervous now everybody is going to take a look at my water. I am going to expose and keep, keep her water open in front of the world. So uh, Priyanka, you know when, when um, you became the finalist of Mrs. India 2019 from being the finalist Till you reach to the finale, the national finale in Chennai. Okay. There are so many activities that we feel with me, the preparation, making your national costume, preparing for the talent round, or doing the videos, you know, yeah. the textile awareness videos or tourism videos, like 
there was a lot yeah. there was a lot right um of course uh, it was a challenging you know um out of all these tasks or all the challenges i would call um you know be preparing for your national costume or your gowns or your getting groomed yourself with hair and makeup and um all the videos shooting the videos and all that what was the most challenging part that you felt the challenging part of uh, being a mother <laughs> yeah is always about i worry about the kids a lot yes. yeah so like uh, i mean like, while i'm doing all this mm-hmm. so i was always worried about who's going to take care mm-hmm. of the kids and how they're going to co- yes. cooperate with me like uh, without me they're going to miss me and all that but my family is tremendously supportive mm-hmm. and my sister is always there my mother my father my husband everybody supports mm-hmm. so because of them only i could achieve so much yeah. so my children are always safe with them yeah so that t- taken care of um the rest uh, challenging part was there was a very little time actually i was traveling yes. Yes. the time management was uh, very crucial mm-hmm. So I didn't think it fell into place uh, yeah. somehow. Maybe it must have been stressful because yeah. I remember especially that you lost your grandfather yes. and you have to travel back and forth um you know because of course no one is no one is ready for the the situation something like the mice of your loved ones and uh, that is the time that you re- I mean th- th- there's something that you really cannot do anything so I-, I remember you have to travel back and forth uh you know between your native place and all that and then you have to come back and do all the preparations so of course we are aware of what challenges that she has gone through but trust me when she reached there uh, you know everything was so smooth everything uh, what was expected from all the contestants in fact all the contestants of this is the 2019 were so well prepared you know i mean everyone have gone through their own challenges and uh, uh, you know but the best part is that they made it yes. and i'm really really so proud of them not only me i think entire their families their friends uh, the mrs india um, team everyone is so proud of them it was amazing yes everybody was talented everybody was uh, like true equally uh, uh, what do you say that equally yeah, yeah yeah and i'm very glad that uh, my part the co contestants were yeah. so good that i feel proud uh, being a winner that my uh, competition was so good yeah it was so strong yeah. the competition was i mean there's so many rounds right i mean yeah. um, out of all the rounds say for example all the photo shoots you know we had like team oriented photo shoots spice six photo shoots um be it uh, you know the galas the red galas all the teams which was your favorite photo shoot Uh my favorite photo shoot was uh, the Odyssey uh, one. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> so because uh, we were posing and it was very feminine. Yes. And uh, I never did all these poses yes. especially these high versions of what is pop and uh, contemporary style of dancing mm-hmm. zumba and all that. Yeah. So now uh, man um uh, the teacher who taught us yeah, yeah. Odyssey one 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 she was uh, really good yeah. and she taught us around 10 poses in like an hour yes. so uh, everybody could, it was very uh, nice to pose like uh, True. like, like a, a goddess the goddess and uh, yes. the postures the eye movements and everything yes. so i love that uh, see for actually the, especially for the photo yeah especially you know the guru wali mata you know i mean she's been my guru wali i know she is a perfectionist and uh, what what she taught in that limited stipulated to a uh, long uh, time of a pilot it's really difficult but of course you know even the contestants were smart enough to grasp yes. everything so quickly it was beautiful it was really beautiful you know um and now um, among all these four shoots right that we had really really tough training in uh, these things you know be uh, learning how to do your hair and makeup of course the natural They, they taught it so well yeah. uh you know the tra- training was by naturals and uh, you know they are the number one in in, in south india yes. you know, in yeah. fact the largest uh, <laughs> largest uh, uh, salons uh, across india and um, of course uh, after that we had silambam we had odissi dance and the competitions like cooking yeah. competition was my favorite part <laughs> yes <laughs> the cooking competition was a real was fun. challenging and um, the way it was set up mm-hmm. like a master chef set up yes. that was very exciting yes. so there was a time limit and the ingredients we had to yes. share it was 
a very nice experience. Yeah. Yeah. So we could uh, feel the master chef and uh, Mrs. India. Again. I tell you, I tell you, uh, when you guys, um, you know, have to rush and take all the all the ingredients, mm. I was thinking, you know, oh my God, there is going to be a third world war because <laughs> everybody wants to have the best ingredients for their dish, and uh, most of them they don't even know how to cook and. Few ladies, you know, they don't even know how to uh, boil uh, tea, and they have to make the noodles all of a sudden into different flavors. Yeah. So that was, uh, I mean, that was the fun for us, to, us to watch. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, among all the training, you know, like whatever the training we had, um, uh, it's a remember whatever. What what was the best training that you like that you would like to learn more? You know, what you learned at Mrs. India, you know, that that you got exposure and you thought that okay, I, I want to. Take it to the next level. What then was then the Okay, so that was my favorite, and uh, Ashwarya taught us so well that yeah. the hand movements are going so smoothly. And yeah, there's a beauty in the fighting, uh, yeah. the martial arts kind of silambam is. Mm -hmm. I heard it's ancient it and it's almost 4,000 years old. Yeah. and with the blades, yeah. killing your enemy in style. <laughs> yes, that yes. was very exciting. So I even like. Uh, Imagining how the kings and queens might have killed the enemies inside. <laughs> See, generally martial art, we think that it's very ferocious or very arrogant. You know, when 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 it, it goes, there is so much of aggression in the martial art. But silambam is something. It's it's very rhythmic. Yeah, it's so rhythmic. You know, and uh, this, as you said correctly, you know, if you want to kill the enemy, you're killing the style. <laughs> And for that you have to be like Mrs. India, you know, uh, you have to learn how to do Silambam. Uh, Aishwarya, you know, the, the trainer who came, she is a world champion. Yeah. She is a world she champion. Awesome. She is awesome and uh, uh, though she does this martial art, there is so much of feminine, there is so beauty, uh, the way she performs so Silambam. And uh, we are so lucky, you know, Mrs. India, uh, uh, as, as, a, as a pageant, we are so lucky that we got such a beautiful trainers and groomers who themselves are role models, yes. you know, and when they come and they teach uh, all this, um, and I really like that you, you really learned it and yes. definitely you should take it further. Yeah, I am planning to learn further and teach my kids also. Yes. For women's safety, of course, Actually. is the uh, number one uh, problem uh, yes. in India. So. I would learn it and I would tell my friends also to learn it so, and my kids see, Especially when we speak about women empowerment, right? I think Silamam is something personal safety or the uh, uh, personal safety unit, what you say. You start with yourself. Yes. I think we, we all of us should learn this martial art, you know, not only the karate. Or the, I used to think that Kalari Paito is the only martial art, the ancient Indian. Yeah. But yeah. Silamam is something different. Different and so surprising. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. so you know, during this thing, uh, like, like apart from the, the cooking or anything, what was the most exciting part? You know, like meeting new ladies and watching. What was the round, the, the competition round that you liked? Talent. Okay, and then round was amazing, and yeah. <laughs> I should, I must say that uh, we had three categories, like yes. age group categories. Mm -hmm. There was in talent round. Yeah, actually the la the senior citizens were serious, <laughs> more uh, energetic than the below 40 group yes. and I was really surprised to see the amount of talent women the had. The tiger dance yeah. was the, yeah, the surprise. The tiger dance was, I, I, she's from Karnataka. Yes. Mrs. She's 63. She's six, 70 plus now. Oh, she's 70, 70 plus. She's 70 oh, plus. Oh my God. She did this Huli Kunita and um, the, all the other ladies. Did it, did it and you know, only because time. she's wearing a mask, mm -hmm. you know, the people who are watching, even when, when they will watch it, when we are going to put it online, I think they, they also will not be able to recognize that the dance is performed by 70 years old women. Yes. Because that particular dance is mainly done by men. And that is basically male dominated dance and the seven year old lady does it. Yes. And when you watch that, you will not realize that there is a 70 years old woman dancing behind that mask. Mm -hmm. Only when she removes the mask mm -hmm. and when she tells that what is her age, we come to know. You know and I, I will also certainly agree that talent round is the round when yes, you actually understand what is that depth. Yeah, that is what Mrs. India is, not yeah. just a face or body or yes. just how you look, it is all over. Like, yes. Uh, the look, everybody is beautiful in their own way, Correct. but the talent is somewhat something that really everybody can't uh, 
no sure. have so that, that you have to develop it and put yeah. the hard work to the to showcase it, it. Yeah, yeah. to showcase it so the amount of talent they had mm -hmm. and the different kinds of talents yes. that was amazing uh, I so liked the, your talent show when you just in <laughs> dancing right yeah. and dancing and painting um, I mean I really liked it you know I, something you know when you do you do it but when you do it in style you know, you get the music and and till the end, trust me, I was not getting what, what she's doing, you know, I mean, what kind of a painting. Because when, when we were watching from, from the audience yes. point of view, it was just some kind of a sketch, yeah. right? But in the end, when you, you throw in some glitters on it, and then the picture was actually changed. You know, they say that picture is changed. Yes. And it was actually last minute the picture was changed. And the, the painting actually got a life. Yes. Yeah, that's the beauty of uh, speed painting. Uh -huh. We were given only 90 seconds max. Yes. So that's 90 it. seconds actually is a world record yeah. in oh. speed painting. <laughs> so I uh, actually, uh, like, yeah, somebody holds a record for 90 seconds speed painting. Mm -hmm. Nobody has done it in uh, wow. below 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. So I, this is standard has two two minutes or so. Yes. So, I so you are locked. I have locked. <laughs> yes. So I would dance more and finish more. I mean, hopefully, and yeah. the ninety seconds was a challenge. Yeah. So every day I used to practice after the kids slept oh. till uh, one a.m. two a.m. <laughs> oh my god! I, I made videos of the practice also. <laughs> like really recording the time and everything. Mm -hmm. That was uh, that was actually enjoyed the process because mm -hmm. it was quiet at home. Mm -hmm. And I could express myself through art. Yeah. That's what I love. So, but but I'm really glad that you fasten yourself. Yes, 90 seconds. Yeah. And I think that now you can go to another competition of doing this uh, uh, painting in 90 seconds. Yes. So <laughs> you can always attempt a world record if yes. I keep practicing. Yes. yes, yes. So, that, so that, that is one uh, one thing you know that I need to know today. So I think that I'm going to send you to some more competition <laughs> where you have to paint in just 90 seconds. You know that that's really good. You know. Um, uh, so, so what I like about you. You know, do you yeah. want to know that? Yeah, I've mean, been dying to hear from you. <laughs> like, I, mean, I don't have the courage to ask you. If you tell me, that'll be my pleasure. Like you made my day. So what my what day. makes you the winner, right? Yes. See, uh, from the starting, I uh, see. I know the journey of each and every contestant. Not me, only the whole team know that. Or what they go through uh, from the moment they are being auditioned, what they are going through, and all that. Um, I know what the the challenges you have gone through in, in your personal life, and when you reach to. You are not well for a long time and all that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but but that is something that we don't consider. That what what we see on the stage is only what matters. You know. Yes. What what is yeah. So what is there for us to uh, notice or the the thing that is actually grabbing our attention? The best thing that I liked about you and all all across the pageant, you were good. You're so much focused, and um, I never see you, you know, going around and you're there all everywhere <laughs> on the time. The best thing that I liked is um, in the uh, reduced use and freestyle round when you when you walked just like a painting, you know. I mean, I I never in my life. I, I I could imagine. Or I mean, now I I, uh, I realize that okay, painting can walk, right? So uh, you you just walk just like a painting, and the painting which is my my favorite, you know, Raja Ravi Verma. Oh really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> maybe that's why some maybe Raja Ravi Verma made me. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah. this is like surprising for me. No, no, Raja Ravi Verma. In fact, if you've seen the last year the photo shoot that we had, the Shakur Kala. Okay. The theme is inspired by Raja Ravi Verma's really? painting. Yes, yes. The, the, the theme of uh, you know the whole thing oh. that is entirely inspired by Raja Ravi Verma. Okay. So you know when I saw my inspiration walking on the stage, you know, it, that is when and I think not only me, I think even the audience, even everyone will will agree that was such an eye-catching and it, it, it grabbed eyeballs like or really I mean what is the frame walking, you know? And that when you came and you were holding the fruits in your yeah, hands and your arms. That is the real fruit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But it, it looked like a you know plastic food. So no, I made sure that so I asked the chef and it all was not very heavy, right? Because real fruits. Yeah. Were, it was yeah. a bit heavy, yes. Yeah. I my hands were like a little bit hurting, yeah. the wrist were a little yeah. bit after some time. Mm -hmm. It was, I was excited, so I couldn't. And anyway, I remember you turned your hair left and right. Yeah, I just made it a little change. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you are wearing a beautiful sari which was like 90 years old. 
10 more years and it, it completes the century, you know, it's something uh, in a museum piece, yes. isn't it? So, so whatever the costume she's wearing, it's actually a museum piece, in a 90 years old costume. And, it really doesn't look that old, it is so well crafted. Yes, it's well maintained yes, by well my yeah. husband's grandmother and uh, my sister beautifully draped it for me and uh. we, uh, I had a backdrop made by the artist from my husband's office mm -hmm. I would like to thank them through that yes. <laughs> and my husband also so they made a nice uh, painting kind of backdrop I got it printed mm -hmm. and I took uh, two feet uh, sticks to make a frame Okay. okay. And then oh. in the hotel room, we uh, taped it together and made a frame. Oh wow! Behind, and I tied it with a rope, hotel <laughs> rope. What ropes? Okay. Uh, so everything came off. Uh, like but nice. it, it looks so flawless. Yes. I mean, now when you're telling, telling out. now yeah. when you're telling, I can understand what the challenges you have gone through. Yeah. But on the stage, it looks so flawless. Especially this, this this fruit thing, and I was thinking that those those are not the real no, the real fruits. And then uh, after the walk, I gave it huh? off to the contestants. I we were really hungry, and we ate the fruits. <laughs> oh, you you ate the fruits behind on the on the on the backstage. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that you are not supposed to eat food backstage? It is strictly not allowed. Really? <laughs> Did you eat that? Yeah, I took a bite. I was really hungry, <laughs> and, and no one stopped you guys from doing that. Mm. <laughs> oh, but that's not done. I mean, um, when Pratima was there, you know, I mean, Pratima was standing behind and she's supposed to she make her a bite. She took a bite. <laughs> is it? Pratima! Pratima, is it true that you're eating behind? You're eating the food behind? Ma'am, that was not cooked food, it was fresh food. Yes. Whatever it is, <laughs> food is a food. Food is a food. You are not supposed to eat backstage. And that you are joining with the contestants. Being the director. They were hungry and there was fresh food and it was just quite inviting. Yeah, and I too was hungry. But I okay, 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 we're not going to discuss about it. We're not going to discuss about it. Okay, guys, we're not going to discuss about it. But remember you cannot eat food backstage. That's something uh, you can Yes. From next time we're gonna take care of it. Okay. But uh, I excuse you because uh, you have given such a beautiful performance. Thank you. And I understand, you know, sitting behind the stage for like four, six hours and without no food. Okay. It's very difficult. Pardon. <laughs> so um, you know, I mean on whole having you on the stage in fact all the contestants they they performed so beautifully, you know. Yes. And the competition was really, really tough. Yes. You know, be and be whatever the age category, they were best and they were like they were able to compete with each other, even though with that age difference, you know, even the about sixty. Yeah, we were tired backstage. Yeah. So I was always thinking how these people are like above sixty. Above sixty. 60. I mean they were all uh, you know, uh, enthusiastic bachelors and we could we couldn't stand for long time. They were standing for long time. Yes. Hats off to them. A lots of patience, you know, the, the crown that 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 comes, uh, it's it's just not the crown, it's lots of responsibility. And I'm really proud of uh, Priyanka from the moment she's crowned. She she assumed that it's going to be a glam doll. She's going to be, uh, you know, wearing the crown and gown and is going to go around, is going to do the appearances. And next day she gets a call from me, just get ready, we have to go for the sponsor visit. And she's like, oh man, I'm not well, but just within one hour you have to be ready for the sponsor visit. You know, I was, I had high fever on the day of the yes. pageant. Uh, I had high viral fever. Mm -hmm. So next day I was, I was in not a position to yes. wake up. But when you call the man, I just, I forgot about the fever <laughs> and I got ready. But I really liked, uh, you know, the way you came and I think in fact I was late because I was finishing all the post pageant work um, and uh, you was there, I made you wait for that. I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, sorry for that. It's not easy to organize a pageant, I understand that. <laughs> but you know, I really like the... The best part that I liked about you is your patience. You know, you have lots of patience, you. and uh, your uh, ability to take the challenges and you know the, the changes. You know, you you know how to uh, adjust with the changes. You know, you, she's she's very fast. She, she adjusts very quickly with the change. Uh, I think that is very rare, and I think that is the most important thing to become a queen. 
you know the queen is something who is always ready for the challenges who is very uh, adaptable with the circumstances and uh, very adaptive with the situation you know if you are not adaptive with the situation and the changes that comes your way you know you really cannot sustain yes and especially the queen is someone which queen is a people's person you know? and uh, you know the the people look after look up to you yes you know and time <laughs> yes and, and you know by this time yes. right yes. from yesterday she have we have made her work so much and uh, i think uh, beat from product launch or the, the shoots or videos and then going out having dinner and then in the morning 9 o'clock we asked you to be ready and we came 9 o'clock in the evening so you can imagine the 12 hours she is sitting like this and that's that's the patient i think what it takes to be a queen and i'm so proud of you she is going ahead now she is going ahead for to represent india internationally on mrs planet which is like more than a decade it's already there and uh, they're doing wonderful mrs planet is is doing such a great job when it comes about the uh, environmental awareness and that goes very much with our theme of textile pollution awareness yes. of course it's the it's the, the it, it's a uh, very much relatable cause i chose mrs planet because i am always work i like Yeah, working working towards the environment and that's my favorite uh, subject. Topics. Yes. So uh, it is need for need of an hour now. Actually, that the climate change is happening and the earth and the environment is being destroyed. Kind of the greediness of humans. Us. Actually. So actually. I like to use this platform mm -hmm. and leave my brain to the fullest. Yeah. And make um. Uh, my country proud yeah. and also i would like to set an example for the generation next generation and our, all the women out there how to take care of the environment and how we can teach our children to take care of our environment yes. how to very important how to keep our only home uh, yeah. safe and we are borrowing the earth from the future yeah so we need to take care of it yes so we have to return the way it is given yes. to us yes definitely it is very important definitely <laughs> So Mrs. Planet is what um, that is what it's going to right. uh, help me do do things. Do the things. Yeah. So we're looking forward. Um, we have lived, we have seen her journey up till here, and her view did beautifully. And even your your reign, you're living beautifully and responsibly. Uh, I would like to say, and we're looking forward to go ahead and make India proud and come back with with a glittering crown. But before that, you know, uh, we are not going to go anywhere. Well, you guys are going to have a look into her wardrobe. You are going to know about her beauty secrets, her fitness secrets. Say, yes. And uh, what are her tips? Her makeup tips, her hair tips. Of course, everyone want to know what makes her so beautiful, what makes her so talented, and how she manages it so quickly, and um, how she managed to keep herself fit into all this busy schedule, and taking care of child and everything. So that we are going to know more and more, but not now because we are already running out of the time. So we'll come back. Until then, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. so that you can watch the journey of mrs india 2019 winner priyanka abhishek and uh, we are here for you all the time so until then bye 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 and please subscribe